Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You are watching how to fix sack. In this video, I am going to show you 5 steps how you can resolve the issue your hard drive is detected but not opening. I will show you how to resolve this issue step by step starting from basic to advanced including the command prompt. So stay with us. This is my hard drive, external hard drive. In first step, you need to make sure that its extension is good as per the window because windows can read only two types of file first is fat32 and second is ntfs so make sure one of them is selected in your hard drive for checking this go to this pc and click on manage option then go to disk management option click on this and select your hard drive this is my hard drive the file system is ntfs to make sure that go to its property by right clicking and this is the option type local disk file size ntfs if if you have fat32 it's okay and now if you have another file system except ntfs and fat32 you need to de delete your volume you need to delete your volume if you don't have these file system so you will lose your data for that right click on the drive and click on format we are going to format our drive and choose the option ntfs or expert or fat32 i am choosing ntfs now click on ok button now click on ok all data will be lost to make sure you are choosing this so this is how we have made this ntfs now you can do one thing you can change its letter click on change drive letter path and now click on change and assign the path the other than the you have already given like i and click on ok then <coughs> then click on ok and now check your drive is opening or not now in the second method we are going to run the troubleshooter for that go to cmd right click on it and run as administrator click on yes now you need to type one command here to diagnose your hardware type msdt msdt.exe then give a space and then hyphen id then give a space and then type a device and diagnostic and hit enter now you will see option like this hardware and devices to click on next option now your hardware related problem will be solved if any wait for the process to complete this will detect all the problem with your hard drive and with your hardware Now click on apply this fix. You will see the message restart your system. Now click on next and restart your system. Your issue should be fixed. If your issue is not fixed with the two method, we are going to move to third method. Sometime outdated hard disk driver can cause this issue. So we need to make sure that we are using the updated hard drive driver on our Windows system. Press window plus R button together and type at dev mz mt.msc to open the device manager now click on disk drives expand this option and update the driver like this search automatically and close this option update all the drivers in the fourth method we are going to scan our hard drive corrupted hard drive can cause this issue so I am going to show you one command by which you can resolve the issue with the scanning of your hard drive. Go to CMD, right click on it and run as administrator, click on yes, then type as chk dsk space slash the drive letter, the drive letter you want to scan. In my case it is E and then give the colon and then space slash F, F will scan all the bad sectors and R will repair those and hit enter. 
Now wait for the process to complete. This will scan all the issue and will repel the bad sector. This will go in five stages. It is now moving to fourth stage. So wait for the process to complete. This might take 10 to 15 minutes. You need to wait for that. Now the drive has been scanned and Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. Now in your case, the problem will be repaired. If you are still facing same problem opening the drive. Now in the fifth method, make sure that your drive is given the appropriate permission to access the drive. Go to this PC and choose your drive. Right click on it. Go to properties. Now go to security tab. Make sure everyone is chosen here. If not, then click on edit option and then click on add and type here EBE. EBE for everyone, check name. Now you can see everyone. Click on OK and make sure the full permission is given. Full control. All the tick is ticked like this. Then hit apply and then OK. And now OK. So all the permission is given to this drive. Now your drive should be working. So these are the five steps you can resolve this issue. Hope this video helps you. If yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching. How to fix type.